80 years ago, the Nazis forced a German Jewish art owner to sell off his entire collection. Well, now the FBI has returned one of the pieces to its rightful heirs, including the Stern Foundation and its university beneficiaries. Now, Rob, you just met up with a representative from Concordia. Well, that's right, Mitz, and he was just returning from New York, uh, where the painting, which dates back to the 17th century, was presented at the Museum of Jewish Heritage. Now, the painting is called Young Man as Bacchus. Bacchus, also known as Dionysus, is the god of the grape harvest, for all you wine lovers out there. And this painting was one of 400 pieces that belonged to Max Stern, a gallery owner in Dusseldorf. Now, Stern had to liquidate his collection when he was exiled in 1937. U.S. courts have since ruled that the forced sale uh, amounted to theft, and police have now returned pieces to the Max Stern Foundation, and, much, and that's much to the joy of many of the beneficiaries, including Concordia University. And I spoke to one of the representatives from Concordia just moments ago. These are like finding needles in haystacks sometimes. And so when one is uncovered by one of our researchers in this kind of rigorous archival and historical method, that we can actually finally come to this conclusion after chasing it from Italy to Spain, traveling to New York, having law enforcement actively engage in its pursuit, and finally seeing it back in the rightful hands of the three universities is very rewarding and is part of really what all of us as a team live for. The painting is right now at FBI headquarters in New York. It will be taken uh, from there to a museum in Dusseldorf. Then it will make its way to Haifa, Israel. But if you want to see it, it will be back in Montreal only in 2019 when it will be on display at the McCord Museum. Mitz. Thanks very much, Rob. And that's Rob Lurie at Trudeau Airport.